drawn from Emmanuel's veins, and sinners plunged beneath that flood, lose all the guilty stains, lose all the guilty stains, lose all the guilty stains, and sinners plunged beneath that flood, lose all. Uh, Do henna. It's uh, just temporary art tattoo. Oh, your art tattoo. I don't believe it's tarot card reading. That's satanic. You know, the Bible says, "Man, that we shouldn't mark our body up." That's true. Well, if true. that's true, then you just believe something the Bible said. You just said you don't believe in that. I mean, uh, that that is. I'm not saying that I don't believe in the Bible. I'm just saying some things that I don't agree with. So you want to believe in what you want to believe? That's good for you and throw the rest away. I mean, I'm not saying it's good for me, but you know, I'm not going to compare another sin to another because no sin is greater than the other. But do you believe that the, the events that are happening now was prophesied years, many years, thousands of years ago? Yeah, the same things that happened now happened thousands of years ago. So the Bible is true. Uh, well, mm, I'm not going to say that it's true. The Bible is just stating events that has happened for proof that God is real, for giving you information, you know, of certain people's opinions, you know, of whoever. Uh, yeah, you can have a seat. No, 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 I like it, yeah. Oh, okay, thank you, yeah, yeah. But that's just what I believe. You know, I just believe that the Bible just states different events that um, has proven that God is real. You know, different prophets, not just Jesus, Adam, John. Jesus was not just a prophet, the son of God. He was the living man that was made man, created man on earth. He was God in the flesh. And he died on the cross for me and you. Right. So we can go to this place called heaven. Right. And there is a heaven, there is a hell. And there's no such thing, like you said a minute ago, there's something that's bad in hell. Everything in hell is bad. There's not one good thing in hell that is good. There is no good in hell. There's no light in hell because Christ won't be there. Right. And ma'am, and all with all due respect to you, she like a very fine lady to speak to me. Yeah, a lot of people want to encourage me to call my name. And that's okay. Yeah. I've been doing this 34 years. But ma'am, the Bible says, if I can show you real quick, it says in Leviticus 19:31, regard not them that have familiar spirits, neither seek after whether to be defiled by them. Now you're not reading cards or poems, but that, that, that goes to these other people here. Yeah. But what you're doing if you're marking on somebody, if somebody comes here and asks you, you pay you 40, 50, 60, 100 bucks to draw 666 on them, or Satan thing. I mean, you know, you can't judge people. You can't judge people what they believe. But the Bible says... You can only give the word of God. You well, ma'am, the word of God says in John 7, 24 to judge, not the appearance, but a righteous judgment. Right. You see, I was once right. a sinner. I was once in the street. I was once in the world, drug addict, alcoholic, everything. Right. I got born again 33 years ago. It's the best thing in my life. I am happy. Right. You're at peace within yourself because you have to find your own happiness. No, I have peace within Jesus. Which he is peace within, within you. Peace within myself is nothing, but peace within Christ is the peace that I have. But he is you. So you are God because you are no. you are a God. No, ma'am. Not saying you're God himself, but you are a God because no, within you, I am God God's, is within. I'm one of God's servants. Right. I am and you're not a messenger. good enough to be a God. There's only one true God. There's many gods. Okay, there's Allah, which is Satan. Buddha. There's Hare Krishna. Uh, they got uh, Buddha. Buddha. That's right. You know, but there's only one true God. Right. And his name is Jesus Christ. Point. And ma'am, if you're not born again, you seem like a lovely young lady. I should appreciate talking to you. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Joke, I mean, because I love, I love having conversation like this because a lot of people don't believe. And, you know, I have my, at the end of the day, after this conversation, you walk off, I walk away. We have our own beliefs. And I do believe in God. And I do believe that, you know, there was a man. I'm not going to say his name is Jesus, Messiah, Yeshua. I'm not going to say that whatever his name was. He did die for us. Not saying if he was a white man, a black man, right. an Arab, an Arab man. No, he could have been Chinese. Who knows? He wasn't Chinese. But well, whatever, you know, whatever he was. He was Arab, Israelic, Israeli, yeah. Jerusalem, you know, whatever now, he was. He was with Jewish Carpenter. But if, if right. he was green with purple arms, that's not, that's not the, the, the right. purpose of the principle. Did. His blood was shed. His red blood was shed for us. And so I believe, you know, anything. 
somebody, whoever he was, you know, he did, he was the son of he did things, godly things that nobody can explain. He did things, you know, 2017 years ago, because this earth been around millions and millions of years. It's just that 2017 years ago, But it's only been in existence for around 6,000 years, since Adam. Well, The earth was here, but human beings been right. here only since Adam. Right, human beings. I'm not saying like dinosaurs. Right, but the earth, fossils, don't tell how long the earth's been here. Things you like might have been here 20 million, I don't know. Yeah, but we fossils, just go by what it says. And, what, and, what we have found fossils and things like that. Uh, you know, humans have dug yeah, 35,000 yeah, right. yeah, feet. Fine. Yeah, you know, yeah. that we proved that yeah. science. I'm saying science, not saying that I'm. But you know, there's one you know, fossil that you won't find Jesus. Right. You're not going to find that. You're not going to find his fossil. Anything else that died from the day of Adam to today. You'll find their bones. You won't find Jesus' bones, man. He rose. Right. He conquered death. Right, and he will be back. Well, he's coming to pick his people up. Yeah. And then he's coming back to do business. Right. Ma'am, I just hope that you get born again. Really. Thank you. I'd like to see you in heaven. Thank you. Well, you sure seem like a nice lady. Yes, thank you so God much. Bless you, I appreciate that. God bless yeah, you, I appreciate your conversation. Yeah, uh -huh. God bless I really you too. It. it was nice. Let me see. Uh -huh. And it's good that uh, you know they have people who do care about other people's beliefs because somebody told me they were atheists and that hurt my heart. And I just asked, why are you atheists? You yeah, know? I know. What's huh? the reason? It's scary. Yeah, it is scary, and that really hurt me because something in me told him no. Believe in God. You know, no, no matter what you believe in, believe in a higher, superior power because. You, we're here for a reason. You know, God put us here for a reason. You have your reason. To serve him. I have my reason. To, to serve, serve him. him. To serve him. Let me ask you this, ma'am. How many atheists do you think that are in hell? Hmm. Wish they could be left out and changed from the atheism. But do you think we're... To being born again. But this, do you think, instead of the angels, do you think there are people in hell yet? Since it's not judgment day yet? Well, yes, ma'am. There are people in hell. I can show you. In, in Luke chapter 16, the rich man died. He didn't, die, he didn't go to hell because he was rich. He went to hell because he didn't have a relationship with God. And there was a poor man by the name of Lazarus. And the rich man died and Lazarus died. Now Lazarus went to Abraham's bosom. The rich man cried out from hell, Father Abraham, can you get Lazarus to dip his finger in some water and put it on my tongue, for I am in great torment. You see, he had memory that he was on earth. Right. And he had memory that he had a family. He said, go tell my brothers not to come here. You see, there's three parts of you. There's your body, your soul, and your spirit. Your body goes in the ground, your spirit goes back to God, and your soul goes to hell. Okay. Now, you stay in hell on a day, on day of judgment. You'll be left out. And you stand before God in the great white throne judgment seat of Christ. And you'll be judged. And ma'am, if your name is not written in the Lamb's Book of Life, your name will be written in that book of second death. And you'll be cast into the lake of fire. But to get back to my question, man, how many atheists do you believe that in hell? If God will let them out, we come back and tell people to get born again and believe in Jesus. Every single one. Once you enter hell, man, so there's no such thing as purgatory. Right. Purgatory is nothing to do to the, 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 the poor and uneducated out their money. Right. You see, purgatory. Money don't make it rich. Purgatory, if you believe in purgatory, you're saying when Christ said it is finished, he was the only sacrificial lamb that meant anything. He said it's finished. It's finished. No more, no more sacrifices. It's finished. So when you die, you're heaven or hell. You don't go in between. So when you say that, when people say there's a purgatory, what they're saying, Christ, you just didn't do it good enough. Man's going to pray me out of this place. They don't pray for you when they can see you alive. They're going to pray for you when you're out, of, out and they can't see you dead? No such thing as purgatory, man. Let me ask you a question. Would you like to get born again and accept Christ? I do accept Christ. And um, let's say you mean born again being baptized? No, born or? again means first of all to follow Christ, to turn you, your, your life 180 degrees. And everything that you do is not according to what God wants you to do. I had to give up fornication, adultery, I had to give up smoking weed, drugs, fighting, cursing, right. and forgiveness. Everything. I had to give it all up. And that's what you need to do, man. Yeah? Because you can die here. You could have some nutbag come here with the crowd there and blow us up. Yeah, you're right. Oh, this guy over here could shoot at that guy and miss and hit you. Yeah, oh, oh. yeah. God's God doesn't promise you tomorrow. Right. Today is the day of salvation. Right. What you gonna do? That's true. What you gonna do? Man? Something to think about. What does mean? I think we can pray and you can accept Christ and ask forgive your sins and, 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 and take it from there and try to do right with God. It's all up to you. Forsake the ways of God, man, but forsake you.
Bible says that the wicked will turn to hell. God didn't call the righteous, but the sinners to repentance. And I pray and I repent every night. God bless you. Thank you so much.